Hey, today we're going to be in John 3, 16. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Do you mind explaining it now? Yeah, for God's love is so unconditional that he gave his one and only Son, but here's the conditioned aspect, that we must believe in him so that we do not perish but have eternal life with the Father. So that is conditional. It is, isn't yes. it? Yes. But actually, the answer to that whole question is really quite simple. God does not want any to perish, but all to have eternal life. That is the love for all. And he gives us the recipe through Jesus, obedience to Jesus' teachings. You say you don't want that. It is the most pleasant life one can have. It's not easy, but then no life is easy. Satan's plan looks easy, but it's not easy at all. Broken marriages, dysfunctional families, ruined health, ruined wealth, and all those kind of things. So let's go to John 3.36. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever rejects the Son will not see life, for God's wrath remains on them. The first half says God loves you. The second half says he hates you. The choice is ours, and that part is God's love. That actually started in the Garden of Eden. They had a choice, and they chose incorrectly. But we do have a choice. So let us choose God's deal uh, or instead of Satan's deal. The Bible says that God is love. Yes, that is his language and his promises. You become his servant now on earth. He protects you from your adversaries. He gives you a new Jesus nature that brings love, joy, and peace into your life. No worries or anxieties here on earth. Plus, he gives you eternal life and heaven forever. We call that love. That's what I want. Satan says, I got a better deal. Don't mess with that God collar on your neck. I give you freedom. No rules. If it feels good, do it. Let's have fun. That God story is just a story. Remember, Satan is a liar. He wants to take you to his heaven, the lake of fire. Could you read 1 John 5, 19? We know that we are children of God and that the whole world is under the control of the evil one. Satan is ruling this world. God in his love is giving us an off-ramp on the freeway to hell. Thank you, Lord. Amen, Harry. But I just have a question. So if God is love, which you mentioned, what about those who reject his offer? Is he still love to them? He's only loved. He is love to them in that he continues what he has for a season. He offers them this privilege. But, that they, but we choose. The, the love is available. But yes, there is two sides to God. There is the anger side also. But the but is he love? Yes. But he has many attributes. He's love. He's anger. He's jealousy, um, condemning. Um, you know, trying. He's got a lot of attributes. But love is the one that we need to look at, and that is the one that will see us through. But he got very little patience for the wolves that are out there destroying the sheep, and that is not where we want to be. Amen. Thanks a lot for this, Harry. Thank you.